Hey everyone, they sent us this real cool paint project. It's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be deep glossy black with pegging gold pinstripe. The AMF design in the gas tank. All right, so we got the primer all sanded down with using a 400 sandpaper. Just need to finish sanding the gas tank and wash them up, cleaning them up, and then we'll start getting ready to shoot black. All right, so we're getting this thing going. We got the 99K BMW black all done. I need to redo the fender. I dropped it and scratched it, so it's gonna have to get redone. Next step is to sand this with 1000 and then shoot clear. That's something I like to do, especially with black, so it looks like a real nice black mirror. Some of you guys might think it's a little overkill, but I like to do that, so. That would be the next we are now working on the design so basically the line on the green is what's going to be painted silver base and pegging gold candy afterwards and what basically what we'll do is we'll outline the green in orange and then we'll basically pull on the green and what is exposed is what's going to be painted silver and candy gold pagan so that's going to be the next step now after we do that we'll paper the whole thing so we get no overspray and then we'll start shooting the silver base we have everything taped and papered ready to go so the next thing is I'm going to start working on the gas tank lay out the design there and start papering and taping the gas tank so all the silver base coat is uh, been sprayed already I'm going to start re getting ready to spray the silver and the gold base on the gas tank so I'm going to start with that then I'll explain to you how all that's going to work with the candy All right, so we have 150K balancer mixed in a little bit of the peg and gold from House of Color, KK12. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna get ready to start spraying the silver. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna just basically lay one coat down. And this way I can kind of figure out how much paint is gonna take for me to get the color I want or the tone I want. Okay, so that's basically one coat. So what I wanted a little bit darker, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay another coat. So that's kind of the tone I want. So basically that's how long it took me to get the color or the tone that I want. Alright, so we have the silver and the gold already sprayed. So this is the base coat of the candy concentrate. So what we ended up doing, we started off with the silver base. Then we mixed gold half and half with silver. And then we did pure gold. And so that's why we kind of have a little bit of a fade, but it's really three different colors. And so when, once we shoot the pegging gold on there, the pegging gold is very translucent. It's gonna turn the pegging gold to different colors, three different colors, three different tones, should I say. And then as I spray more pegging candy over and over, it makes it darker. And we should have several different colors once we're done. So what I'm gonna do is get everything prepared and start getting ready to shoot the candy. All right, so right now I already did the, basically the candy over the lettering here. So if you can see, it goes from silver and a little bit darker, a little bit darker. So as I lay my candy down, I normally, I'm gonna do around three to four coats on each one. And you're gonna start seeing the tones gonna start changing from lighter to darker to darker. And up here on top, it's gonna be even more dark. And the reason why is that's kind of the design that I was going for. Um, so let me get started real quick and show you guys how it's, So basically I'll spray one, 
That'd be two, three, four, and that's just the, basically the silver. And then here is the part where we mixed silver and a little bit of gold, like almost 50-50. You can start seeing where the tone is starting to change a little bit, start getting a little darker. The factory design I think is kind of like a baby blues. You can see it goes from a light blue to a darker blue. And this is kind of the design we wanted to use, but in a gold tone. You really can't tell right now. The camera really doesn't catch it very well, but once it has a candy on there, and the tank kind of moves, you'll be able to start seeing the different tones on it. Let me start doing the rest of the bottom. So got everything sanded, you need to wash everything. Start getting ready to lay down the paint. You can a little bit see a little bit more of the fade now. It's gonna turn out pretty nice. Okay, so we did all the clear coat. Letting it kind of bake in the sun for a little bit. Out here in this Texas heat, 105 degrees. So the next step is gonna be to start sanding with 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, 2,000, and then start buffing I like the way it fades, came out pretty nice. So let me get to it. Just finished sanding the gas tank, or the clear on the gas tank with uh, 600 sandpaper. It already has four coats of clear. So we're gonna sand it. All this is smooth. So we sanded this so it, the emblem and the design can be smooth. We're gonna shoot another four coats of clear and then sand that to sand and buff. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the process as we're going. So we're gonna get start getting ready to shoot the clear. guys so we got this all finished up came out really nice We're nice and glossy 
I love the way the candy looks. It's darker on top. It goes down to lighter and then darker. This was a nice paint job. We really enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, leave a comment. If you guys have any messages or questions, feel free to message us. A lot of more cool videos coming soon, guys. Thanks.